If you or someone you know is planning a wedding, then Eveline's Bridal's annual show is the place to be this weekend. Every year we try to put what's trending out there, we try to give brides good visuals, and every year the music changes and so do the scenes. We'll give you all the details in our After Hours report. Coming up this Sunday at the Cavelli Center in Youngstown, Eveline's Bridal presents 2020's premier bridal show, Above and Beyond Imagination. So we've been putting this bridal show on for over 30 years, and it's just a fantastic way for brides to be able to come and plan their wedding. Eveline's Bridal owner, Lori Dubasic, says there will be more than 35 wedding vendors at the show to help you plan your perfect day. I feel like in the area we've really hand selected some wonderful wedding professionals that can take the stress out of planning your wedding. Each of them will be giving fantastic door prizes away, they will have wonderful displays set up. And at the event, Eveline's Bridal will be giving away a free wedding gown to one lucky bride. But this show isn't just for the brides. We definitely have stuff for the groom, but probably one of the most important things is the honeymoon. Grooms usually like planning that, mm -hmm. so we have several vendors that are offering that. We also have a lot of tuxedo giveaways, which are really going to be very nice. During this year's runway show entitled Diamonds and Decades, you'll be able to check out the latest wedding fashions from all over the world. We have them coming from Israel, Barcelona, from Italy, and of course the United States. So we'll have Haley Page, we will have Bertus being shown, so many designers, a lot of different looks that you'll get to see. As far as trends in the industry, Dubasic says she sees them going in several different directions this year. We're seeing a lot of blues and grays in colors. We're also seeing a lot of the outdoor colors coming in, so a lot of rusts and greens and earth tones. Um, people are still loving the white on white, keeping things simple, a little bit of rose golds. We're loving the ivories on ivories. And for those planning their weddings, Dubasic has some tips and things to consider before attending the show. A lot of times people get engaged and they're like, so what do you do next or how do you do this? And actually there is a process to it. So I always tell brides the very first thing you need to do is definitely do a guest list because that really will determine which venue you can go to. I always suggest that you bring the groom, mothers, the bridal party. The more people you bring, the better, just because sometimes their eyes will see things you didn't. I always say also bring a little notepad or you know, be prepared, take some pictures with your cameras. Everybody's very friendly with everything. One of the things I always recommend for brides when they're starting to plan their wedding, if they can before a bridal show, it's wonderful to get in and try some gowns on. Just so that when you're looking at those brides walking down the runway, you're kind of thinking, that's a silhouette I could wear. The doors to the Cavelli Center will open at noon on Sunday. You can get your tickets at the door for $15. I, I really and truly feel every year when we put this show together, we really want brides to sit there and see how beautiful it all comes together and how they can vision things. Now here are some other things to check out this weekend. Opening up on Friday and running through January 26th at the Art Outreach Gallery in the Eastwood Mall is the Anti-Drug and Alcohol Art Show. The show was curated by Trumbull Career and Technical Center senior Trinity Hobbs. An awards reception will be held on Saturday at 6 p.m. Gallery hours are Friday 5 to 9 p.m., Saturday 1 to 9 p.m., and Sunday 1 to 5 p.m. The exhibition is free and open to the public. Coming to the Dior Performing Arts Center this weekend is Last Out, Elegy of a Green Beret. Showtimes are Saturday at 8 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. in Ford Family Recital Hall. Get your tickets by visiting DiorPack.org and learn more about the show by visiting LastOutPlay.com. To find even more events and entertainment news, head over to AfterHoursYoungstown.com. By clicking the list at the top of the page, you'll find a wide range of events happening in our five-county region. In the nightlife category, you can find out where your favorite local music acts are playing this weekend. For example, Dead Flowers will take the stage on Friday at Cafe 422 in Warren at 6.30 p.m. Schultz and the IC will perform at 7 p.m. on Saturday at Noble Creature Cask House in Youngstown, and Vintage Vinyl will be playing at Piggies and Struthers on Saturday at 8.30. You can also find out what's on stage in the community theater scene. This weekend, you can check out Same Time Next Year, presented by the Hopewell Theater in Youngstown, Deep in the Heart of Tuna, presented by the Trumbull New Theater in Niles, and Legally Blonde Junior, presented by the Stage Left Players Youth Troupe at Trinity Playhouse in Lisbon. Click News to find entertainment stories by entertainment editor Guy Distolfo, 
like the weekly Entertainment Digest, with information about Jones for Revival returning to Nelson's Ledges, a night of Irish music with Tara Spire, and the Kids Bop Tour coming to Cleveland and Pittsburgh. Be sure to check out Distolfo's story about the Lauber Brothers and their upcoming performance in the Concept Studio in Youngstown on January 18th, featuring a performance by J.D. Iker. And you can get all of this entertainment news delivered right to your inbox every week by clicking subscribe at the top of the page to sign up for our Entertainment Digest email. Don't forget to visit businessjournaldaily.com and afterhoursyoungstown.com every Thursday for your After Hours report. I'm Maggie Young. 717 Credit Union, a community-minded partner to help you succeed. Business loans, business checking, and business money market and certificates. 717 Credit Union, we're a local business too.